Hey you, do you want to know how to play O5 slash O5 admin apartment, but you don't know how to? Well then, you came to the right video. That's right guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play this team. I'm going to teach you guys the basics, what you have to do. And if you guys have any other video suggestions, make sure you put them down below in the comments. Guys, this is how to probably play O5 in SCP Roblox. Okay boys, so we're in SCP Roleplay right now. And guys, for this whole entire video, of course the whole video is about O5, but the thing is that, if you guys don't know, you can actually play as O5 as a lot of these teams here, you can just see uh, I want to be O5. But I feel like for this video, I should definitely just focus on admin apartment. So you know what, let's just do that. Let me just find this guy here. So for this whole entire video, I kind of want to focus on admin apartment. And guys, step one, it's inspect the facility. Just like my other videos, you kind of want to inspect the area, see what's up, see what's going on. You just want to have a feel for the facility, if it's a lot of chaos, if it's very friendly, are a lot of people role playing, are there a few breaches, or maybe everyone's just full blown arcing, I don't even know. Alright, so yeah, let me just do just that. Now when I say scout the area, I kind of mean like, you know, look at this leaderboard right over here, see how many chaos concerns there are or anything like uh, any class Ds. And also I guess see this communications radio, see if there's any breach SCPs. There was also some quests over here as well, but we can just close that. And it looks like SCP-023 actually triggered a motion sensor. I mean that this guy is probably getting breached out or something. I mean like hopefully he's not. But yeah, let me just inspect the facility here. He actually might be trying to get recontained. I don't know, let me actually go to a- uh, Oh damn! Okay yeah guys, pretend that never happened. Let's actually go to the control room right now cause like guys, we have to inspect the area, gotta like uh, make sure it's secure. And guys, there's a whole team of chaos insurgencies. That, that's uh, that was a chaos insurgency right there. Is there still one more in here? I don't think so. Matter of fact, I think control room's actually good now, cool. Apparently some chaos insurgents go into the class D containments. Which means that we should actually give this place a look. I think the best way to see that is actually go up here to this B-Wing area. Just gets a little bit safer, you also have like some like glass panels here to look out of. There's also more classy spawning in. Also some scientists in the area, which is very good. Yeah, I think for now, site should be okay. Alrighty, so for step 2, you want to manage the site. Now managing the site can mean many things, but let me just break it down to the three things I usually do. So number one, I use a tablet. I feel like the tablet's great because you can see the site status, you can check the cameras, you can vote and assign many things to the foundation. You should definitely be using it if you're playing O5 or admin department. And guys, even though the site might be okay, we still have to do a few things. And I feel like another way to check out the facility, see the status and whatnot, is to actually use this thing right over here, the tablet. Now, let's be honest, this tablet's very useful. You can literally check the uh, site status right there. You can see that there's hostiles, looks like there's high risk. You can actually use this tablet to manage other things, like the site policies. I just saw a class D, who was that? Looks like the power's out now, but I have no night vision, but that's okay. Matter of fact, I think I can actually use this tablet right here to actually check the cameras. And let me go to a other, and let me go transform a room, yeah. Oh, I see him. I see that there's a chaos uncertainty right there, you see that? That's a great utilization of a camera, and oh my. When there's a nuke, I don't think I can actually use this tablet, right? Yeah, connection lost, nuclear detonation, cool. Okay, so guys, I kind of joined a new server, just because I really want to check out the tablet. And boy, let's click our tablet once more. And before I check out the cameras, let me check the task here. And guys, if you want to match a site, you gotta make sure that's clean. As you guys can see, it's slightly unclean, but you can assign someone a janitor role. You can also see the 002 status, see if it's safe, looks like there's zero props detected. Oh yes, and I totally forgot, as like an O5 admin department, you can request Alpha 1, which I don't think there's any Alpha 1s at the moment, but like, I don't really need any protection. There's also this SCP radar here, which is very nice. And I'm pretty sure with the upgraded version of admin department, you can see every SCP. Matter of fact, let me just show it to you right now, let me upgrade it, then spawn in. Yeah, let me go back to this tablet here, and there we go, you can see all the SCPs. Which are the red dots, but let me go back to the regular version. Alright, so here's the second thing I usually do when I manage a site, I authorize tests. Now authorizing tests can mean many things, such as you yourself authorizing a class D, or maybe approving tests and checkups of your fellow scientists and medical departments. Yeah, let me just uh, go outside here and um, oh, this guy literally just died, okay cool. At the moment, I don't think there's any scientists here, matter of fact, there's no scientists in the server. Control and being under attack, I do not care. Before I actually- oh! Okay, uh, yeah, thank you for the heal, sir, um... Bro, I swear, this is just your regular RP experience. I was about to say, before I actually authorize tests, let me actually do a favor, ask if someone wants to be a janitor. Huh? Guys, I don't know how common this thing happens, I swear I'm just unlucky. 
But let me try to go back, ask if anyone wants to be a janitor, and then I'll test. And also, the ice see there's a whole entire squad of people coming in, hell yeah. Yeah, does anyone want to be a janitor besides this guy already? This guy has a spash 12. Dude! I didn't even hit that guy once, I hit all my teammates. This guy wants to be a janitor, okay. Yeah, there we go, you're now a janitor, congratulations. <laughs> this guy's cleaning his body. And let me actually authorize some tests, let me do exactly what I'm trying to do. Yeah, Class D, you can come with me. Okay, maybe this guy as well. Bro, I'm literally hitting this thing! Okay, maybe I can't really authorize any tests. However, something you can do is actually uh, give authorization to other tests. For example, if there were some scientists here and they ask you for permission to like uh, maybe test on a Sector 3 SCP, you can definitely give them permission because like guys, we're trying to all roleplay here, right? But yeah, so much for trying to authorize tests. And guys, the third thing I usually do when I manage the site is actually view ongoing tests. Now pretty much when the scientist is testing on the Class D, I usually like to check up on them, just to make sure things don't go out of hand, and also I want to see how the test goes, I pretty much observe. Okay, but my question is, where is this one scientist? Because I actually had to, uh, I want to actually view these tests here. I was actually trying to find that test, maybe try to like inspect it. Pretty much observe the test, make sure nothing gets out of hand. Oh yeah, and here's a cool tip, you don't really need to use this tablet to use SCPs are breached out. If these SCP logos are red, or at least one of them is red, that means that SCP is breached out. But looks like all these SCPs are recontained at the moment, which is great. And wait a minute, wasn't there just like a test happening here? Looks like all these SCPs are contained at the moment. Oh, here we go. Whatever these people test on, I guess I'll just observe. Unless this person already got tests done, and now he's uh, he's going back to the class containment. Which guys, just for a 10, oh my, why is there a 096 just like out here, um, hello? Yeah, let's get to a Sector 3, uh, checkpoint. I can literally see chaos and certainty, this guy's just chilling right there. Wait, who am I getting hit by? Wait, what? Wait, how did I just get like, bitten by the 023, this guy just like, comes out? Oh my goodness guys, this is actually so scuffed, I literally just want to view a test. Help me! Now before I go to step 3, I just want to be clear, there's many other ways of managing a site. These are just some of the 3 things that I like to do. But anyways guys, let's move on to step number 3, which is utilize the perks. Guys, I'm in a new server yet again, just cuz. But guys, enough yapping, let's go to our next step and go to these lockers here. And boys, if you have O5, you might as well just use the perks that it comes with, right? And at the moment, I actually have Beacon on, which... The reason why, because I actually do like getting HP after I get the person. So yeah, let me, uh, let me just equip that thing. And again, look at this, SCP-049 triggered a motion sensor. And also I should have done this in the beginning, but it's because I joined new server, I always had to inspect the, the area. Inspect the leaderboard, in case there's a lot of these chaos insurgents here. Oh yeah, and also one thing I should have done was check out the site status here. But guys, let's do a little bit of PvP action. Obviously we're trying to use these perks here, so uh, let's try to get some of these chaos insurgencies. And what better way to get these chaos insurgencies with our next step? Alrighty boys, here is step number 4, minigun abuse. Now as I said from the last step, if you don't have O5, you can't really minigun abuse. But guys, when I say minigun abuse, I'm kind of joking, you shouldn't really minigun abuse too much. But who cares, let's just face it, I have trash aim. If I'm trying to minigun abuse, I'm trying to minigun abuse. We're gonna try to uh, get these chaos insurgencies, this, this Tesla gate literally just got removed. Looks like this SCP is also breached out as well, you know what, I, I don't care, just, just, just get breached out man. Don't know where these guys are at at the moment. They might be in the control room, but watch this. Go to cameras, go to a other, then control room. I just saw that my teammate passed by, he probably came from that one janitorial closet. But we just had to watch out for these chaos insurgencies, matter of fact, let's actually go to this class team. look at how many cat classes there are. We could just check the cameras to see where they're at, but like guys, I might as well just face check them, like I don't care, I have a minigun. Yo, you got anything on you? You got anything on you? Bro, I have a minigun, do not mess with me. Why is this class D limping? Wait, I'm actually not gonna get him. I'm gonna authorize him. I'm gonna authorize him. Let me do the right thing, authorize this person, escort him back. Cause guys, I'm not trying to RK anyone, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to RK. Guys, that's actually such a good move by me, not gonna lie. Hey yo, class D! Guys, I can't, I swear, whenever those moments happen, this Class D's run is hilarious. Later. Looks like there's now a full team of Chaos Insurgency, that's kind of scary. There might be a Chaos Insurgency that will, like, hop down here. There's a vent there. Okay, yeah, let me actually use this tablet here, just, like, you know, flick through all the cameras, and bro. This guy's camera just came out of nowhere, that was actually hilarious. Oh god! Okay, maybe I should actually watch out for my surroundings next time, what am I doing? And where's this Chaos Insurgency? He might be in the control room. Oh, who is that? Okay, that's someone right there. 
Maybe there's one Chaos Insurgency still here? You know, I should check this camera. I think he might be near a transform room or a control room. Wait, is he? Oh, I see him! Nice. I say there's only four Chaos Insurgency now, but that's okay. You guys, let me actually re- I was about to say, let me actually reset and try to change my anomalous perk. Yeah, let me just do that right now. Let me uh, let me spawn in again. But guys, this time for my anomalous perk. Like, if I'm trying to minigun abuse and do damage, I'm trying to minigun abuse and do damage. Give me reality bender. The bathroom will have exploded. I'm on my way. Is there still a person in here? I don't think so. But is this thing still exploded? Yeah, it's still exploded. That's actually chaos insurgency right there. Do you see that? I think they're going to a control room. Let me actually check. Because, you know, I don't want to face check because I'm too much of a, a chicken. Yeah, this guy's trying to hack it. Hey, yo, I see you. Come here. Let's go. And I just heard the bathroom wall be destroyed. Oh, I have no more ammo. Yo, teammates, go. Teammates, go. I see his head. His head is sticking out. That sounded very weird. And it looks like everything should be good. There's some tests happening. Probably some, like, uh, role-playing. Very nice. And guys, I think that's it. But you know what? There's actually one more stuff I want to say. So let me just say the step right now. Okay, guys. For our last step, which is step number five, it is pretty simple and basic. And it is have fun. Now, Quiz is like a funny guide on how to play O5 or Admin Apartment. But guys, have fun with this. You don't have to follow every step in this video. I mean, guys, at the end of the day, it's just a game, and it's a learning experience after all. But anyways, guys, I'm just done here. Let me just do my outro. Okay, but anyways, guys, that was pretty much me showing you how to probably play as this O5. If you guys want to see any other videos similar to this, like any other uh, tutorials, even though they're not really like guide to tutorials, they're more of like a funny way of trying to like uh, show you how to play. But anyways, guys, I'm just done here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a like. However, you didn't, make sure you guys dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.